Hello everyone and welcome to this video to connect with the goddess Sulis in her sacred spring in what is now today known as Bath in the UK. Um, I was recently very lucky in that I was able to go on a trip to Bath which for those of you who don't know is a, is a town in the southwest of England in Somerset or city even and it's a beautiful city and it is home to a sacred thermal spring and that thermal spring has been there forever and the waters are still running there they run through a the remains of a Roman bath and they're also repurposed um, pumped into a beautiful spa that's now there and you know if you can afford to go and you can get tickets in it is absolutely lovely but for those of you who can't or might like to just connect with the goddess that was there um, the goddess that has been associated with Bath for a while is known as Sulis Minerva although I'm sure his people who are into history will tell you that the Minerva was added on by the Romans and that Sulis was probably the name of the goddess who was there in the first place um, the Celtic name now not much evidence is there of how the Celts practiced at the spring before the Romans came along and built their baths and started worshipping in the Roman way but I understand from the people at the baths when I asked that it used to be a sort of marshland there and that the thermal spring has just been there forever and another thing one of the guides said to me which I thought was really interesting they think that the water that's coming up out of the spring might have actually fallen on the Mendip hills which are the hills around Bath about 10,000 years before which I was just like, that is mind blowing. Anyway, so of course I had a handy bottle of mineral water with me and I had that filled up with the spring water. And if you smell it, well, it's not got the most pleasant smell in the world. Kind of a little bit icky, but I did taste it when I was there when it was fresh. I'm not gonna drink this now because it's been in a bottle for a little while but um when I was there I tasted it and it was warm and kind of tasted a bit metallic it's actually quite pleasant and you can see why people went to take the healing waters throughout history because it's just so heavy in minerals so you can see how it's naturally quite a healing place anyway what I'd like to do is take you on a meditation to meet the goddess who lives in this spring and to connect with the nature of that landscape so I'm just going to put a little bit in my hands just and if you want to imagine that it's going in your hands too you can probably hear it glugging I'm getting a right drippy mess now there we go you can see can you see the water on my hands that is water from the bath spring okay so if you imagine that that's on your hand you might want to rub it on your face rub it on your face Imagine that that's the sacred spring water of the goddess Sulis or Sulis Minerva if you prefer to refer to her that way as how she was referred to by the Romans. Okay, so as I say with all of my meditations, it's just a time to relax. You don't have to work too hard. Just imagine that you're at the centre of the story that I'm telling you and let it flow. If your mind wanders off, you don't have to worry, just bring your thoughts back to what I'm saying to you and then hopefully you can just enjoy being at the centre of the story and connecting with the goddess. It's important that you're comfortable, get yourself into as much a position that feels comfortable to you. If that's laying down, that's great. If that's sitting, that's great. If you need to itch or twitch while we're meditating, don't, don't worry, just go for it. This is about taking the time to feel good and really connect. So if you're getting, if you're sitting comfortably now, then I'll begin. I'd like you to just start by focusing on your breathing. Don't have to work too hard. Just watch for what your breathing's doing. If 
it feels comfortable. See if you can just slow it down a little bit. you to notice the surface that you're laying on or sitting on. Feel the support of that. And the comfort of your body. As you gently relax. If you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to close your eyes and just follow my voice. You are walking down a path towards the river. The day is beautiful. You can hear the sounds of nature. Smell the aromas of outside as you head towards a small jetty where a boat is tied up. This boat looks comfortable and inviting. And you climb on into it. you settle yourself into the boat and feel it bobbing on the water of the river. You feel more relaxed and the impulse takes you to just slip the rope off the mooring and let the boat drift as you settle down comfortably, letting the boat drift along the river. It's an easy flow, flowing gently and softly along the river, feeling more relaxed as the river winds and you flow gently. More relaxed, the sound of the water, the sights of nature. You might even close your eyes if you want to just feel the boat drifting along and you become more relaxed. drifting off, it's so relaxed. So relaxed, you almost don't notice that the boat has drifted into a clump of reeds at the edge of the river and is gently bumping against the side. You notice the 
edge of the river is surrounded by marshland. But where the boat has bumped, there seems to be just perfectly a path. Curiosity piques your interest. The boat's secure in its clump of reeds and you easily climb out onto the path. It's interesting. This path is well trodden, not big, but perfect for you to travel along easily. And whilst the marshland, the marshes are tall, you see all the nature. You might not be able to see exactly where the path leads, but you can see that it's been trodden before by many feet, and that it's a safe way to travel through the marshes. You climbed out the boat and onto the path, just enjoy strolling through. And you can hear the wind in the marshes. The sounds of the birds. It's beautiful here. You just keep following the winding path. So relaxed, just putting one foot in front of the other, enjoying the journey. Winding away through the marshes on this beautiful day. Then, as you turn a corner, you see the marshes have opened up and in front of you is a pool, a natural pool, sparkling in the sunlight and it seems to be bubbling. It's just beautiful. It looks so inviting. As you reach down to touch it, you realise it's actually really warm. Like bath water. This is the magical spring of Sulis goddess of the sacred thermal spring that has been here forever. Easily and gently you slip into the water. Feels so good. So warm. So comfortable. You slip in and walk into the water, feeling completely safe and comfortable as the slope gently takes you deeper in. You're reminded the warm water is where we start life inside the womb. The magical feeling of being surrounded by warmth. <sighs> that feeling of all of your muscles relaxing as the heat goes in and the tension flows out. That feeling of support 
and weightlessness that comes from being in water. You lay back. can hear the water lapping in your ears and feel the warmth supporting your body as you drift. And looking up you see the beauty of the sky. Feel the warmth of the water around you as you just drift in the healing, warm, perfectly comfortable waters. Like floating in a giant pot. With bubbles of gas from deep in the earth, gently massaging you bringing you more relaxation. As you drift with your ears in the water, you notice a voice. It's a voice of greeting. It's the voice of Sulis, the goddess. And she asks you, what do you wish for? You tell her your wish. And she says, okay. She might provide you with some inspiration about how to manifest what you desire. Or that inspiration might come later. You don't need to work it out. Just enjoy whatever floats into your mind. Enjoy the healing touch of Sulis and the sense of well-being that comes from being in her waters. Many over history have left offerings for Sulis in the spring. And if you'd like to give something to Sulis, now is the time to do so. knows of your gratitude and appreciation. She comes to heal and provide that sense of well-being. And that sense of knowing that you can manifest whatever it is you desire. You 
knowing that you've done what you came for now, it's time to climb out the water. Miraculously, the weather is so perfect that as you emerge, you become completely comfortable. The water evaporates and you dry, and you feel soft and warm and relaxed on this beautiful, perfect day. As you walk back down the winding path, you notice a tree that you hadn't seen before. And you just think, I'll just sit and rest against it a while. And as you rest against that tree, you imagine roots growing out of you, growing deep, deep down into the ground, growing along with the roots of the tree, deep down through the marsh, through the mud, through the soil, through the water, all the way deep, deep down until they find a good solid rock to wrap themselves around. It's tie you tight back to the earth now because it's time to come back to the real world. So I want you to start feeling the surface that you're on. Feel the surface supporting you underneath you and just breathe that sense of weight relaxation and well-being. Maybe start having a little wiggle in whatever way feels comfortable. Maybe a stretch or a sigh. <sighs> Bring yourself back into your body now. That's it. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it brought you a sense of peace and well-being and I hope that it was my privilege to bring you to connect with the goddess Sulis. Have a beautiful day.